my name is Alessia and welcome to my channel! On this channel I am talking about my life in Budapest, about what I'm doing, how I'm living, about my travelings, about psychology, self-development and I think everything what I want to talk about. And today I would like to start with a story. This is such an interesting story which happened to me a couple of days ago. So I was just having a lesson with my student, yeah, I'm teaching mathematics sometimes, and we were talking just about something generally, and then she asked me like, Alicia, do you know physics? And I was like, no, I don't know physics. And she was like, but you studied mathematics and physics. And I'm like, yeah, I did, but I didn't like physics. So I decided like not to dive deeper in physics rather than I did in mathematics. And then she was like, but do you like history? And I was like, mm, no, not really. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. And then next question was, but what do you like? And then, you know, it just hit me. <laughs> In like a couple of seconds, I was like shocked. Kind of, wow, such a theoretical question from a student. And yeah. And I started telling like what I like, what I'm interested in, like as social media things, uh, video creation, just creation, um, traveling, fashion, self-development, psychology. But what is important here that how fast I could answer this question and how honest and authentic I could be. Because I would say a couple of years ago, if someone would ask me this question, I would be like, hmm, what do I like? I like traveling, I would probably say. But now, yes, I still do like traveling, but it's not like limited that I'm only interested in traveling. And that, it brought me to the thought that how much personal development is important how much therapy is important, all of the events, actions, experiences. So if I wouldn't start my therapy about three years ago, maybe until now, I wouldn't be able to answer this simple question, right? It sounds so simple, like what's your favorite food? Or like, what's your favorite color? What do you like to do in your free time? Or like, you know, this question, what would you do? If you didn't need to earn money and then like many question many people are getting confused and they are getting questions like oh for real what would I do so in this video I really really want to emphasize how personal development and therapy is important and helping you to grow so therapy basically is not just to treat you if you are sick or if you are having problems it's not limited to that, right? So yes, therapy is helping you to grow, to overcome your traumas and problems, but also what is even more important, it helps you to learn about yourself. So I think this is the ultimate goal about therapy. It's just like you go and you learn about yourself as many things as possible, like to explore yourself, discover, find new solutions and strategies how to move on in order to achieve your things and what you want to do so with this saying like i wouldn't say that only therapy is one crucial part and that's it and the rest is like never mind no but all of the spiritual practices books experiences workshops deep talks with your friends all of it all together is adding up to your personal growth and exploration of yourself as a person. I think and I believe that this is like the most beautiful knowledge what you can have is the knowledge about yourself. Like what time do you like to wake up or sleep? What do you like to do? How would you like to spend me time? what would you like to do in the weekends or what do you prefer to do after work and every day we can make different decisions we can make choices because what is life life is just our choices 
what we choose to do every day and therefore i would say that like all of the books that i read all of the free resources podcasts videos that i have consumed on my personal development journey and keep consuming all of them are really really adding up to my personality and i want to show you yeah, i have two little books here one calls 365 facts about me you know it seems easy it's like one of the questions what type of music do you listen when you are sad or yeah actually the same question what would you do if you, what would you do professionally if you wouldn't need to earn money so simple right like nothing nothing difficult or this one <laughs> what part of the house cleaning you don't like it's like okay do i like to clean kitchen or bathroom or my room and what i don't like to clean and all of these questions about self-reflection are really really helping me on my journey to learn about myself and i have another notebook called 75 questions and this is more about deeper questions uh saying like for instance uh think about what you're talking the most about with the people from your surroundings uh, do you like these conversations and how these questions are important? What would you like to ask these people instead if you don't enjoy those conversations, etc. So these are more deeper questions and has more space to write. Uh, yeah, and I have so many books which I read. I think I, I will leave all of the resources, what I'm listening to, what I'm watching, what I'm reading down below in the description. Uh, and yeah like journey to learn about yourself is infinite your inside world is so big that also we need to accept that today i may say my favorite color is whatever purple and tomorrow i can say that it's green and because it's me i'm changing i'm experiencing new things i'm learning about myself and this is the beauty of it like when i need to stick to one idea right like we're always evolving always something new comes up like the way it's it was sunny when i started recording the video the sun was coming directly to me and now the sun is just moving to the other side so as everything in this life we're evolving we're moving we're not staying in one place and this is the beauty of personal growth and development thank you for watching this video i hope that i gave you some ideas some tips on how to keep exploring yourself uh, i hope that the links which i will leave below will be useful for you and you will find for yourself something interesting and yeah, have a lovely, lovely day ahead. Bye!